my name is Alex Ranieri. Um, I'm 23 years old and deeply concerned about oil and gas extraction and development in New Mexico. Um, if this is approved tonight in Sandoval County, there will be huge consequences to our water, our land, um, not to mention the environment and the pollutants and emissions that come along with oil and gas uh, burning of fossil fuels. So I, I hope that they'll make the right decision tonight and, and not approve fracking in Sandoval County. So Eleanor Bravo. Uh, I'm Lars Nara, Eleanor's associate, and Eleanor has lost her voice, okay. so I will be speaking on behalf of her. Well, I'll be reading her statement, rather. Okay, here it goes. Uh, Mr. Chair and Commissioners, my name is Eleanor Bravo, I'm a resident of Sandoval County, and I'm also the Southwest Organizer of Food and Water Watch. We rise in opposition to the Sandridge Permit. We know from public statements made by Sandridge's Executive Vice President, Dwayne Gruber, that hydraulic fracturing, or fracking, will be employed if the exploratory phase is successful. Fracking involves the injecting at high pressure millions of gallons of chemically laced water into rock formations to induce the release of natural gas or oil. The process is exempt from the Clean Water Act and the Safe Drinking Water Act since industry claimed that the process was harmless. We now know that this is not true. The public health effects of fracking are far reaching. Fracked wells are deep and only a portion of the frack water can be reclaimed. The rest of the water, laced with known carcinogens, has been found in domestic water wells in other states. Disposing of the reclaimed frack fluid and produced water is another huge problem, which Sandridge has been solving in OK by depositing in, oh, in, oh, sorry, in Oklahoma by depositing into injection wells and causing earthquakes. The health impacts can also be devastating. We now know from a comprehensive study done by Johns Hopkins researchers found that expectant mothers live in the most active area of fracking, drilling, and production activities were 40% more likely to give birth prematurely. 11% babies in this study were born preterm. In addition, the women were 30% more likely to have a pregnancy labeled high risk. These birth impacts are in addition to upper respiratory symptoms, including coughing, itchy eyes, nosebleeds, as well as skin problems such as ratchet, rashes, itching and burning, respiratory illnesses as reported in the Yale study done last year. The tragic truth is that fracking is a dangerous extraction technique detrimental to land and people. We, okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, yeah, well, my name is Bob Wesley. And I live in halfway in Placitas and the other half in Las Vegas. And I and about a dozen other folks worked very closely with the San Miguel County Commission when they developed their oil and gas ordinance. It took probably five years. Uh, we had in the county, we had a big group of flaming environmentalists who wanted a total ban. And then there was a group of ranchers who thought they would make money by having oil drilled on their property. They wanted no ordinance at all. And we tried to walk a middle ground of having a regulatory ordinance that would uh, protect the environment and would also not cost the county an arm and a leg in extra infrastructure. And uh, that ordinance has been in place for about a year now.